Hi, SaberSphere's here, back with another Ordinal Marker video, episode 27. And, well, first thing you notice is the music, because, yeah, there's actually new music here. Well, it's actually not that new in the game, but I'm trying to do it now. It's a Kevin MacLeod song, so it's non-copyright, thank God. And the other one, apparently, was copyrighted, so I have no idea if it's copyrighted, but it got a claim, so, yeah. Uh, anyway, we are going to uh, finally unlock dark upgrades here. This means I, I have four of each cardinal. This is going to allow me to get one, two, three, four Aleph Omega. This means I'm going to unlock the dark upgrades in the markup tab. So it's going to be right here. So here we go. Three, two, one, bam. And now I have to actually check it. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, one, bam. Let's see what this even is. Your decrement T is multiplying by one per second. I have I have no decrement T unmultiplied. Pending ordinal points speeds up decrement T by um, x to the 0 0.2. So it speeds or slows down decrement. -y. And then dark mana. So is this like manifolds except hmm this, this is interesting. Maybe I this is E1000. How how am I supposed to get any of this? Reduce the potency of decremeni by 5%. I still don't know what it's talking about. And then gain 1.2 times multiplier to tier 1 and 2. That could be huge if I, if I do it enough. And then there's the dark manifolds translating to 1 times multiplier dynamic factor cap only. Okay, so I, I, can, I can see na now... Well, I guess I'm just going to go into challenge 8, the only challenge with decrement And actually, this is the, the most efficient challenge to do right at the start of a collapse. So I'm going to do this first, factor shift, the second one soon follows, and then I'm st still not sure what it means by like the dark decrement, or the decrementing all there. It's multiplying by one per second. Still one per second? Because now I have three decrementy. I, I don't know what it's talking about. I mean, I, I now have 10,000 ordinal points. Pending ordinal points speeds... I still don't know what any of this is. And I don't know what unmultiplied is standing for. Is it like... I, 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 don't, know, I don't know any of this. This is, this, is, this is really strange. Really strange. Maybe I should just complete the challenge. How about that? that maybe, maybe that's a good idea. Because then I can get decrementy really easily, I think. Well, I, I have no idea. Maybe I just need incrementy, and then this is like anti-incrementy, perhaps. So because, okay, we're just going to beat the challenge here. It's super easy to beat. You can just see how easy it is. I, I need to get like 3, 10 ordinal points here. So, yeah, it, it's super easy to get here. Let's see, 6, E, 10. That means... You actually can do it. I can do it the two times, like just initially, which is pretty pretty amazing to just be able to do this challenge twice at the very beginning, like of, of a collapse. That really actually does speed up the early part of a collapse, and that that's just so helpful. Just just actually to really speed up a good amount of of the collapse is just amazing because it's still riddled with time walls. It, I, I did it as fast as, I did the last collapse as fast as possible and it it still took an hour and five minutes. So it's still very time wally. But here you go. We're now at base six here, so it's gonna be now we're gonna should be able to beat the challenge at this point. And okay, we're we're close to Omega to the Omega here. Come on, we're so close. Here we go. Omega to the Omega. Maybe I just need to just do a normal normal run. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna do this, so I'm gonna just do these first few factor shifts, sort of like what it is outside the challenge for these first few factor shifts, um, except I can press M right after I get, and I, 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 did that, I did that in the challenge, but okay, this is, should be really easy to get to, to, get to factor boost, actually, I always forget to do this, just get this, these two, it's huge, it just, it speeds it up drastically. And maybe then I can start getting decrementing for the dark upgrades. I hope. 
I really hope. So, yeah, base four, base three, and yeah, now we are up to the capital Megas. So now, still have no Dikarini. How does this work? This is so confusing. I don't know, unmultiplied pending ordinal points speeds it up by, I, I don't know. This, this is, this is so confusing. I, anyway, I think unmultiplied, I think there's a multiply, yeah, reduce the potency of decremeny by 5%. So I don't know what any of this is, maybe there's, we can go beyond third completion of challenge 8 with this. Um, this, this is really confusing. You know what, I actually feel like I should go into challenge 8. So we're just gonna factor boost here. It's gonna be pretty pretty good. I don't know if I can find the factor boost button here. Um, yeah, 20, 28 boosters, seven factor boosts. It's a decent amount to have at the very beginning. And it allows me, allows me to get this, even though I don't think it's gonna affect challenge eight at all. So I think, I think I'm just gonna try to push as far as I can in challenge eight. That, that's what I'm gonna do. And hopefully this is gonna be pretty speedy here, hopefully. Like hopefully, like maybe, I'm guessing it actually costs this decrement, decrementy. So um, once I actually get as far as I can here, shouldn't be it shouldn't be that long to to reach. Actually, I forgot to get any manifolds with incrementy, which I I know I I I think I'm I'm not doing the most efficient strategy here, but it's just I don't I don't I don't, I don't know how this works. So um, just w once I get down to base six I think that's when it's gonna when I can really start doing stuff with the dark upgrades so yeah base, base six here and 6700 I'm 100,000 and now we're up to a million so it should be easy to get to yeah this so now now decremeny increases very quickly maybe now we can get the dark upgrades yes we can here we go and I can get dark manifolds here. I can actually max it, and it's actually really interesting. Reduce the potency of decremeny by five percent. I can do it a bunch of times here. Since this is exponential, it's really the exponent is like the real cost here. I wonder if this resets on collapse. That's gonna be a huge thing. Then this is the best part. Gain a 1.2 times multiplier to tier one and two. So it's sort of annoying how the dark manifolds only boost the dynamic factor cap so yeah maybe no I don't think I should try to go any further with this I, I think the deeper is based on your like Omega exponent so yeah it's actually this is sort of disappointingly weak I'm, I'm actually I'm realizing this this is not very strong we can get this then we can get reduce the potency of deeper many by 5% at e125 and I think that's like the last thing that's pretty affordable here. Of course I can get more dark manifolds. So yeah, dynamic dynamic factor cap can help with some of the challenges. Not exactly sure which ones because I don't think the dynamic dynamic factor count really does much. I mean no it actually multiplies incremental gain if we can get that. So it can help an actually decent amount here. So we're just gonna get this and we're gonna see if we can actually get any farther. I think it's a little farther here, but it's, we can get up to E11, so I guess that's cool, but there's nothing else I can really do here. And I don't think Decremeny is increasing any faster than it was before. So I think I'm just gonna do, I'm just gonna exit the challenge and go on with the usual part of the collapse. I do have, I now have a 1.44 times boost to um, tier one and tier two automation. So that will actually help like quite a bit. So just gonna, we're just gonna get this for challenge one. Still a time wall to, to just get get places in this challenge. It's so annoying, seriously. It, I, I really wish these boosts were bigger. They're, these boosts are tiny. Okay, we can complete challenge one the first time and, and, and we can easily reach the Epsilon Knot, so we can do it the second and third time. I'm gonna cut this part out because it is super boring. I've actually also calculated that you essentially have this time wall 
it, I mean, it's not too, too bad, but it's still like 15 seconds every single time. You encounter it 10 times in a collapse. That's, that's two and a half minutes of just pointless waiting, which nobody likes. And it's not a good idea any, any, any way, but whatever. It's, it's just, that's what these time walls are like. But we, we can get to the second completion now, and third completion. Okay, we are finally in base three, and we can complete the challenge for the third time. That took way too long. And, yeah, there's this challenge. I don't even think we can do it. Because we need to reach Epsilon Not with this, and look at our builds. We, we don't have that you get three free factors each. So, yeah, this is why it's just... It's starting to get boring at this point. Like some just doing this over and over again, experiencing the same exact time walls over and over again. Also, I need to actually um, do this to get the best. I can't even. I can't even get the, you gain three free factors at this point. So, if I want to actually get the most factor boosts I can, I have to do it like this, the old, the old way. I probably should try to go for eight instead of seven factor boosts in the beginning but whatever it's it's what I have to deal with hopefully the I'm really hoping the dark upgrades do not reset on collapse because right now this game is too grindy it's just like seriously it is far too grindy and hopefully okay, it's now faster which is really nice so I can get a few easy factor boosts, something you don't see very often. It just feels like the easy factor boosts are harder and harder to come by. Probably because maybe I, I didn't have these manifolds. I think these manifolds do really help. They, they boost tier 2 production because of the first Aleph upgrade. That makes me wonder. The, the last Aleph upgrade, Ordinal Points boosts tier 1 and 2 by 2.446 times. That's pretty good. That that's gonna cut like the, the collapse, like the the time wall to the Backman Howard ordinal from like half an hour to about 12 minutes. I think possibly what my next goal could be is the sluggish milestone for 15 boosts. I have no idea if that's possible because there's so many com challenge completions you can't do until like 19 or 20 boosts. But like seriously, this is the most. This feels like it's amazing. I would need something like this. Just need it. Like you can see, I'm going up to 13 factor boosts. So we're like almost at that limit. And we're like nowhere near, like, like seriously, like this, is this even, This I think it's enough to beat the first completion of challenge four and that's it. Like there's no way we're getting that. And then there's also challenge three, which possibly can be completed I hope I, I, th I think I can complete challenge three challenge, um, challenge three here shouldn't be too bad here keep saying the word here and I need e200 ordinal points e200 ordinal point how we're nowhere we're nowhere near that see that this is what it is what I mean I guess we can do challenge two possibly I, I, I need I need uh, this though. I think I can do the first two completions of challenge two. And then that's like the last, I, I can't get much, many more challenge completions after this. So it's just these two. And then I have to keep grinding for more factor boosts. So yeah, it's just, it's really, it's really harsh. Like, like, especially like, like at this point, it just takes it still takes a long time to get each factor boost and yeah it's just annoying but we're, we're just gonna we're gonna we're gonna try to get as many factor boosts as possible hopefully it's gonna be relatively easy this time